good morning students welcome to class 9 this is a history class myself sir sir again here i am to continue what ever we have left it we were discussing about the russian revolution how the socialism spread in europe then socialism came to russia and it took the revolution and changes took place regarding it we have discussed already many changes many happenings we have also discussed already about the political condition social condition and economic condition we have already discussed about the industrial society and we have discussed about the socialist society in russia that was starting in the emerging phases and after that we have discussed the 1905 revolution what happened in the 1905 revolution and what were the impact of the 1905 revolution 1905 revolution was the base for the 1917 revolution in 1917 two revolution took place one is in february according to julian calendars and october revolution it is also according to the julian calendars but according to gregorian calendars it would be march and the november but it is famous as the february revolution and it is the october revolution this revolution took place in 1917 but before it one the most important things in the world history had taken place it was the world war 1 the first world war had taken place we will discuss about the first world war and the role of russia and impact of first world war on russia the first world war started roughly we see the first war started from 1914 and it lasted in 1918 first world war started in 1914 and lasted in 1918 what were the causes of the starting of the first world war first we have to see the political map of europe which make us give the better understanding if you people have the political map of europe means you have the atlas yourself then if you are turning out then it will be make you better understanding the situations austria hungarian empires means austria hungary empires austria hungarian empires it had captured the bosnia herzegovina in 1908 its capital was sarajevo its capital was sarajevo bosnia herzegovina it was captured by the austro hungarian empire in 1908 but the peoples were thinking that it is 
not the part of the Austro-Hungarian empires, it is the part of Siberia. Let's see the atlas and find out where the Siberia is. If you see, the prince or we can say the rulers of Austro-Hungarian Empire. Archduke French Ferdinand, who was the Archduke French Ferdinand? He was Archduke French Ferdinand of Austria, who was assassinated on 20th June 1914. The Archduke French Ferdinand was the Prince of Austria, was uh, Austro-Hungarian Empire. This prince had visited the capital city of Bosnia Herzegovina, that is Sarajevo, in on it was this prince had visited it on 28 June. 28 June 1940. Why? They wanted to inspect the imperial army and also to see the some peoples who were of the imperial army were in the hospitals. They wanted to give a, a speech and they had visited. Just you have to keep in mind there are many nationalist peoples who were thinking that the Bosnia Herzegovina should not be the part of Austria-Hungarian Empire, it should be the part of Serbia itself. So there were many peoples, nationalistly minded peoples who were trying to make Bosnia Herzegovina free from the Austria-Hungarian Empire. On this day, one thing happens. Five hardcore nationalists were in the way to assassinate the Archduke French Ferdinand. The people who had killed, actually, who had killed, assassinated, his number was the fifth one. His name was Gabrilo Prince. While on his way, Duke Ferdinand, first people fail. He was simply ashamed, miss, horrified. The second people try to throw a bomb on him. But the driver, car driver, saw something is flying. He speed up the cars and protect the rulers. Then everyone keep on failing. They reached, miss actually the Ferdinand reached the imperial army's office. They delivered the speech and after delivering the speech he was returning planning to go to the hospitals. His security man decided to take the another path. But unfortunately you can say over here they forget to transfer this message to the driver of Duke Ferdinand and when the Duke Ferdinand's driver was taking on the old path, he saw some of the nationalists were standing among the many nationalists 
the Gabrilo Princip was also one of them. He was Gabrilo Princip who had assassinated Archduke Franz Ferdinand on 28 June 1914, which started the First World War. He realized his mistake. He tried to reverse the car, but it was unfortunate that the gear was locked, could not reverse the car, and Gabriel Princip shot him. The Archduke as well as his wife both were killed assassinated. Gabrielo Prince was arrested. He was kept in a jail. So most dreaded jail he was kept there. He had to suffer disease, most dreaded disease, tuberculosis. Nowadays we think tuberculosis is curable. We have the medicines. At the time such thing about 100 years back. This disease was most dreaded disease. He had to impute his hand and he especially hang himself that he was not killed, he was not hanged to death. He himself hang means he committed suicide in the jail by using his cloth and towel. Means basically he used his towel, gamcheka prayukya, and he killed himself there. When the Archduke Ferdinand was killed, the Austrian-Hungarian peoples were thinking that this is the work of the Siberia, some Siberian countries, so they attacked the Siberia. It means we can say it was the starting of the First World War. And Russia joined the war on uh, just after 1 month, 28 July 1914, because Serbia was the ally of Russia. If we say in one word, the person who started the First World War, none other than the Gabrilo Princip because he had assassinated the Archduke French Ferdinand of the Austro-Hungarian Empire and who was the Gabrilo Prince? He was the member of Nationalist Movement of the Serbs. It means it was the starting of the First World War. And when the First World War started, it was divided into two groups. It was fought between the two groups. And these two groups were one was the Central Power. Central Power. These are the flags of central power of the First World War. And why I we call it the central power? First I am writing the name, then you can find. Germany, Austria, Hungary, Bulgaria, Ottoman Empire. If you see the atlas, you will find just go west of the Russia. You will find Germany, but just below Germany, you will find here the Austria, Hungary, Bulgaria, and Turkey. These were consisting almost the center of the Europe. 
Eastern or Central Europe. That's why they are called the Central Power. We can say Central Power was a sandwich between the one side Russia, here you will find Romania, here you will find France, then Belgium actually was not a part of the neutral one, it was attacked. Then here we will find UK and USA. Since it was the sandwich, central power was the sandwich between the Russia and the UK, France, USA, other countries. It means they are the allies. The first group was the central power and who were the member of the central power? The member of the central powers were the Germany, Austria, Hungary, Bulgaria, Ottoman Empires. Basically these were the main important groups. Another group was allies. Allies were consisting of Russia, France, UK, USA. These are the flags of allied forces which participated in the first world war. With them, other countries were also there. Japan was also the part of it. Italy was also the part of it. But we take the basically these four groups. The Russia, France, UK and the USA. Russia had to withdraw from the First World War. In 1917 after the October Revolution. But till we have to discuss about the Russia role in this revolution. USA joined in 1917. Russia joined in 1917. This world war was fought between the two groups and if we are asked the other parts were remain isolated, no. When we are talking about the UK, it means it was the UK Empire, means all the colonies of the UK had participated. India was the colony of UK, so India also participated, but India's is not, the name has been given because it was the colony of UK, so the Indian soldier fought for UK in the First World War. So here name is only UK but name of India is not coming. It means all those countries which were the colonies of these countries had participated in it. The World War, this First World War was fought on the two fronts, two basic fronts. Which were the two basic fronts? One were the Eastern Front and the Western Front. Eastern Front. This is the map of Eastern Front during the First World War. If you have the atlas, then open it. Eastern Front means the eastern part of the central power, not the eastern part of Russia, eastern part of the central power and if we say it, if you see the Baltic Sea in the north and Sea in the south. This part, Russia, Ibe, many countries there, if we see that one part in the Eastern Front, it was the one part Russia, 
and Romania one side and other sides it was Germany then come down you will get Austria then again come down you will find Hungary then again you come down you will find the Bulgaria there then again will come there you come in the Ottoman Empire that is Turkey it means this is a long boundary from the Baltic Sea to the Black Sea and Baltic Sea to the Black Sea it stretches around 1600 kilometers long one and being the long one it was difficult for the safe guarding the borders infiltration of the soldiers were common then it was difficult to make the trenches trench ho gaya khai ta ka bana diya jaha soldiers chhutte the then they were attacking also because almost the marshy land was there due to all the region this eastern front was the most difficult front one is the length another the little bit marshy area trenches were not available so they have to commit force it and these two fields we see this is 1600 kilometers long one side russia and romania in this waters the allies russia and romania but the part of allies which was defeated russia and romania or we can say allies were defeated on eastern from central power where the winner won now we will discuss about the now the second front is the Western front. Western front means the western part of Germany. This is the map of Western front of the First World War. In Austria, if we take over here, Germany, Austria. This one. This part was not so long, shorter one, and it was going around 640 kilometers in length. Soldiers were fighting in the trenches over here. One side only the Germany, Austria, Hungary, other side. All the powers were included means over here you will get the France were fighting then Belgium was fighting then it was also UK and USA all the parts were fighting in the western front these countries means the central powers. Earlier they were in the victorious state, victorious points, but they had to defeat it, come back as soon as the USA entered into the First World War. Entering of USA was a turning point of the result of the First World War. Even the Allies were not wishing that the USA should join the First World War, but they were compelled to do it. Some rumors spread, and it made the USA to join. And joining of USA was the defeat of the Central Power. And the First World War, we know that the Central Power was defeated. And this one, Germany has to make the humiliating treaty about whom we will read that it was the seat of the second world war and this one the 
North City, Fringe Boundary with Switzerland, like Swiss boundary. With the Fringe and Swiss boundary meets is only the a small boundary where the western front was fought. We are discussing about the Russian Revolution. So we must analyze the impact of First World War on Russia. What is the impact of the First World War on Russia? We know that Russia was defeated in the hand of the Germany and the Austria. Earlier, the peoples had the support. Jar were supported by the peoples for the First World War. But when Jar started taking the decisions without consulting the oppositions, the peoples get annoyed. They don't want to continue this war because it was giving the adverse effect on the economy of Russia. Opposition group was led by the Lenin, Vladimir Lenin, who were the main hero of the February Revolution and the October Revolution. What were the impact? We have seen the map, Eastern Front you have seen, Germany, and when the defeated, the Russian Empire returned. And while returning the Russian Empire, they destroyed the crops. Why they destroyed the crops? Because they want that the, if the enemy enters, they should not have any supply of food available to them in the Russia. Destroying the food for the allies, sorry, uh, these armies, uh, central powers armies, allies, especially the Russia. They also destroyed the buildings so that this central army cannot hurt them. Central army, we can say the army of the Germany, Austria and Hungary. They were simply advancing. So Germany were basically to advance it. And whatever the activity was done by the Russian soldiers, it created the 3 million refugees, not less. It was the 3 million refugees. Three million refugees in the Russia. First thing that we have got. Second things. The industrial society of Russia or the industries of the Russia. Were not the Russia's own, all the industry were not owned by the Russians. We have discussed after 1890, the foreign country has started investing in the Russia because they are the large source of coal and the iron. So supplies from the industrial goods and other supply were blocked because I have given you my there was the Baltic Sea and Baltic Sea was captured by Germany. Since Baltic Sea all the things were being transported from the Western Europe to the Russia through the Baltic Sea and Baltic Sea was controlled by the Germany so it became difficult industries collapse and machines were idle so it started disintegrating. Load on railway increased drastically because they had to supply and we calculated how many passengers are traveling to a particular route and if the total number of passengers divided by the length of the route we can say number of passengers traveling per kilometer and the freight in Russia, it was more than 100 billions 
टर्न्स पर किलोमीटर बाय 1916 इट इज 100 बिलियन टर्न्स एक साल में एक किलोमीटर पे 100 बिलियन टर्न्स फ्रेट वेयर बीइंग सप्लाइड एंड ड्यू टू सो लार्ज प्रेशर द रशियन रेलवे रेलवे स्टार्टेड ब्रेकिंग डाउन industries the big industries they were not getting the other raw materials and the supplies from the other part of the europe because baltic sea was captured by the germany in russia itself there was a huge huge of railway lines and it went up to the 100 billion tons per kilometers by 1968 it started disintegrating Apple buddies they are asked to join the soldiers they are coming in the front for the fighting for the countries so they were shortage of the levers so a small industries came to an end or closed when the industries will close it would create the unemployment then also the grains they were producing it was supplied to the front to feed the soldiers so all these conditions that were prevailing in the Russia and which were so harsh conditions that the Russian peoples were not willing to continue in the war. They wanted that the, they should sign a peace treaty and withdraw from the First World War. This is the internal condition of the Russia made them to withdraw from the first world war actually they withdraw after the october revolutions we have to read about the february and october revolutions so till see the map and go through this video to understand about the eastern front and the western front and what was the impact of the world war this first world war on russia thank you